have a person who's unconscious, breathing you know, three to four times a minute. Captain Joel Navarro has saved many lives with naloxone. All of a sudden, he's back up, he's alert, his eyes opened up, um, and he's starting to breathe normal. The antidote temporarily reverses the effects of a heroin overdose. And if House Bill 2489 one day becomes a law, all emergency medical technicians and police officers will be able to administer this life-saving opioid antagonist. Representative Heather Carter introduced and sponsors this bill. She says Arizona needs to join other states in passing similar legislation. And we thought that it would be appropriate for Arizona to join those group of states so that we can potentially save lives um, when we have situations of overdose in Arizona. HB 2489 is already gaining support from those who work with addicts. Haley Coles is a founding member of Sonoran Prevention Works, an outreach group that helps those suffering from drug addictions. I think that getting naloxone into as many hands as possible is um, like a really good way to start combating this overdose epidemic. Erica Heckman runs a teen drug rehab facility and says this is a good first step to fight overdoses while scientists work on more effective treatments for addiction. I think that we can't rely on uh, just this idea that if you know you're going to die, you're going to stop using, because reality is the addiction to heroin is much more powerful than that. Captain Joel Navarro sees the immediate advantages. It's a very simple drug to administer, um, and you know if they have statewide training for especially police officers and other EMTs, um, that could make a difference, truly. Giving first responders another weapon in the fight against heroin. In Phoenix, Angela Meehan, Cronkite News.